Hey, we're back again at the uh, Cafe 210, the prayer room. And this is, I call this my recording studio. This is a great place. William is a poet and, uh, and he knows it. <laughs> no, in the heart, he's a poet too. And sometimes he shares his poetry at the 210, at Cup of Jazz. Now I'll talk about Cup of Jazz another time. But there was a time, William, in your life, you're just feeding this back up to me. And you're, you're married now, you've got four kids, and some things physically was going on with you. And you went to the hospital. And as, as soon as you walked into the hospital, something was stirring within you. What was stirring within you that triggered this poem? I had a sense that this visit could be lethal. For you? For me. And... Uh... You know, it's kind of, no, no kind of picture, on a broader picture, what does a man think about when he may be facing death wow. at some Whoa. random point in his life? Wow. And uh, this poem shares some of the things that were going through my head wow. that others may or may not relate to, but this is where I was at. Wow. Have at it. Okay. I just may not make it. I may not survive. It'll only be God's fault if I'm left alive. So goodbye to the grand plans I've made for my life. So goodbye to the children, the baby, the wife. I figured on having a lifetime or so. But my time may be over. It'd be time to go. What could I do better if I had one more chance? What could I accomplish? What could I advance? When I look at all this junk that I've got around, it is so worthless now that it's getting me down. I've scheduled more time than a full life would hold. I've lived life as if I would never go cold. Now what can I say to convince those behind? That they need new direction, they need a new mind. God above paid you, and him you should serve. If you go your own way, you get what you deserve. Da 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 da. -da. Wow. Huh. Well, God bless you guys, and thank you, William. Thank you guys for watching Chapman Chat.